What is up, YouTube? It's Zeldin here, the Magician Master 100, here to show you the archetype called the Magicals. Yep, the Magicals. They're a archetype based series based on the spell card Book of Spells. Now, I'm going to show you one of them. Well, you probably already know one because I've already shown you on my last video. So, here we go. This one is called Magical Calligrapher Battelle. Okay, so he's a level 2 water monster spellcaster. He has 500 attack and 400 defense. His special ability when this card is summoned or flips face up, you can add one book of spell card from your deck to your hand. Now, that's a really good card for your book of spell deck. Because it will help you get your book of spells a lot faster if you use that card. So, either you can put two or three in there, you know, if you want to. But that's my opinion of what you should put in that deck if you want to get your book of spells a lot faster. So, let's see. Now I'm going to show you another archetype. Okay, this one is called Magical Archer Lamon. Wait, La Lam Hour. Man, people these days, they come up with such weird names. Okay, I know Zeldin's a weird, pretty f weird name, but I got it from Kingdom Hearts. So, please bear with me. Okay. He is a Earth Attribute, level 3 spellcaster with 600 attack and 2,000 defense. Okay, pretty good defense. And what he can do is, once per turn, you can reveal one book of spell, ca spell, spell card in your... Hand to special summon one level four or lower spell cancer type mods dear from your hand. Uh, he's actually pretty good. Actually, he's you know pretty good for special summoning, you know spell casters you know from your hand. He someone reminds me of magical exemplar, except you know he doesn't require spell counters. So, and remember, it has to be the spell card. Because if um, if someone tries to add a hidden book of spells from their deck to their hand, then people are trying to screw you over. So, yeah. Try to remember that. Now we have Magical Summoner Temper. Okay, then. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Okay, then. She's a level 3... Earth Attribute Spellcaster with level... Hey, that's level 3, like I've already said. Okay, I know you're seeing this little weird video. I don't know why they put that for stupid advertisement. Okay, then, let me move it. Okay, then, anyway, she has 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense. Her special ability, during your main phase, when, this, hey, when you activate a Book of Spell card, you can tribute this card to special summon 1 level 5 or higher light or dark spellcaster monster from your deck. You cannot special summon another level 5 or higher monster during you activate this effect. Well, I don't know what to say. Oh, if you're wondering about this, that uh, means I shut off my touch screen on my laptop. So anyway, well, it's pretty good effects, I guess. So, next magical before another advertisement comes up. Uh, now we have Magical Warrior Fours. Okay, then. She's pretty cool. Okay, she is a Fire Attribute Spellcaster Monster, level 4, 1500 attack, and 1400 defense. What she can do is, once per turn, you can shuffle one Book of Spell card from your graveyard to your deck to target one face-up spellcaster monster you control and increase its level by one and its attack points by 500. That's actually not a bad effect for Book of Spell de X because one, you can bring back a Book of Spell card from your graveyard to your deck and two, you can increase the level of a monster to for already for either a synchro summon or an overlay unit and give it 500 points at the same time. So, yeah. Next magical. Uh, now we have Magical Swordman Sherio. 
Okay then. He is a wind attribute. Level 4 spellcaster with 1800 attack and 1300 defense. What he can do is, once per turn, you can target one book of spell card to add one spellcaster from your graveyard to your hand. So basically, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can discard a book of spell and bring back a spellcaster from your grave to your hand, you know, for something you probably need. And you can probably use that last spellcaster I just told you, you want the fire one, to use her ability, bring back that book of spell from your grave, and after that increase the level of a monster and give it 500. Pretty good combination move, I guess. And last but not least, Magical Eruti Juno. Wait, Juno? Wait, Juron? Junon? I'm sorry, sometimes these names are pretty. Uh, you know, I don't know. So, anyway, okay. Uh, anyway, she's a light attribute spellcaster, level 7, with 2500 attack and 21 defense. She kind of reminds me of Dark Magician, come to think of it. Okay, then. Anyway, you can special summon this card from your hand by revealing three Book of Spells cards in your hand. Once per turn, you can banish one Book of Spell card from your hand or graveyard to target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. Well, not so bad, I guess. She's level 7, so you can be able to exceed summon for Herion. Well, that's my vid about the magicals. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And my next video is going to be about the Book of Spells archetype. Well, see you guys. Peace out.